Rattlesnake Creek is located in central Washington and is a major tributary to the Natchez River within the Yakima Basin. Rattlesnake Creek is home to multiple native species of fish, including threatened populations of both steelhead and bull trout. The cold, clean water of Rattlesnake Creek provides rearing habitat for salmon, steelhead, and bull trout. Some of these species spend multiple years in this system until they are large enough to migrate out to the main stem Yakima or potentially out to the ocean. However, not all rearing habitat is created equal. In Rattlesnake Creek, one of the limiting factors is side channel habitat. Fast flowing shallow stream channels have limited space available for rearing juvenile salmonids. In contrast, slower cold water habitat has a variety of complex areas for fish to hide. The best engineer of slow water habitat is the beaver. They are famous for cutting down trees and hauling them back to their homes and building complex dams that slow down water and create habitat for juvenile salmonids. So oftentimes when we're doing a project, we need to think like a beaver. We can emulate the beaver by taking a normal stream channel, driving in fence posts, and then weaving those fence posts with natural vegetation to slow down and back up the water. From a different view, the structure is added to an uncomplex stream channel. And what that does is it slows down and backs up water and spreads it out. This provides more area for juvenile salmonids to rear, improves conditions for plants to grow, and hopefully encourages beavers to return to the area to maintain these systems long term. In these structures, we can take a side channel with very low complexity and improve it to a place where it has much more rearing capacity for fish. Because these structures emulate beaver dams, they're called BDAs or beaver dam analogs. A chainsaw is used to sharpen untreated fence posts to drive into the stream bed. A hydraulic post pounder is used by our crews to drive the fence posts deep into the substrate. This can be quite a challenge with all the boulders and cobbles in our streams. Once all of the fence posts are driven into the substrate, natural vegetation is woven between them, which immediately begins to back up the water and create more complex habitat. Branches trimmed from nearby trees are then placed on the side channel upstream of the BDAs to provide hiding cover for juvenile fish to prevent them from being preyed upon by birds. Using rebar and a steel mallet, the crew then begin to plant live sticks. The rebar is removed, native vegetation that is trimmed on site can be placed in the hole, which allows these cuttings of plants to access the water table. These cuttings of willow and dogwood will grow roots and hopefully mature into a large plant. Once established, these cuttings will become dense stands of riparian vegetation. This will improve habitat for fish and provide food for beavers. By installing beaver dam analogs in a side channel to Rattlesnake Creek, Big Columbia Fisheries hopes to improve this habitat for fish for years to come. For more information on Mid-Columbia Fisheries Enhancement Group, the projects that we do, or how you could potentially partner with us, visit our website at midcolumbiafisheries.org.